Good morning. So our topic for today is about introduction to poultry. So lesson number one, which is about general information on poultry raising. The question is, what is poultry? So the term poultry generally uh, refers to domesticated birds raised to satisfy human needs. Uh, an example of this is uh, the species of uh, chickens, ducks, quails, and pigeons. These species are raised mainly for their eggs and meat, and other species are used as ornaments, pets, or game animals. Um, this chapter or this lesson discusses the benefits of a poultry raising and the factors to consider in choosing the right species to raise. So let's talk about the different poultry species. So 11 species of birds are classified under poultry. So these are chicken, ducks, turkeys, pigeons, quails, guinea fowls, geese, pea fowls, peasants, uh, swans, and ostriches. So um, chickens, turkey, quails, pea fowls, peasants, and ostrich are terrestrial in habitat so while the rest are aquatic so other characteristic of this species are presented so we have here chicken so the common name of ch of is chicken of course and the scientific name of chicken is gallus gallus domesticus incubation period in days is 25 21 days egg weight in grams is 58 grams next we have duck that's the common name, scientific name for mallard duck, Anas platyrhynchus, for Moscovy duck, that is Caririna moschata. Incubation period in days, 28 days for mallard, 35 to 37 days for Moscovy. For egg weight in grams, for mallard, 80 to 83 grams, and for Moscovy, uh, that's 70 grams. Next, we have turkey. So scientific name of turkey is Meliagris galopavo. Incubation period is 28 days. Egg weight, 80 to 90 grams. Next, we have a pigeon. So scientific name of pigeon is Columbaldivia. Incubation period, 18 days. Egg weight, 17 grams. Next one is quail, scientific name, Cotornix, Cotornix japonica. Incubation period, 18 days, egg weight, 10 to 15 grams. Next, we have guinea fowl, scientific name, Nomida miliagridis. Incubation period, 26 to 28 days, egg weight, 40 grams. Next, we have goose, scientific name, Signopsis signoides, incubation period 28 to 34 days, egg weight 200 grams. We also have a pea fowl, scientific name Pavo cristatus, incubation period 28 days, egg weight 95 grams. Next, we have the peasant, um, scientific name Pashanus called Kikus, incubation period 22 to 24 days, egg weight 32 grams. We also have swan, scientific name, Olor Columbianus, incubation period 42 days, egg weight 285 grams. And last is ostrich, scientific name is Strotheo australis camelus. Incubation period, 42 days, egg weight, 1,400 grams. The benefits of poultry raising or the advantage of, of poultry raising, there are many benefits which can be derived in poultry raising. So these are as follows. Poultry animals are good sources of meat and eggs which contains nutrients the human body needs. Poultry animals multiply fast, lay many eggs in their lifetime, and produce a lot of hatchlings as replacement stocks. 
There is a ready market for poultry products. Eggs and poultry meat are consumed by people of all nationalities and religions. Poultry animals can be raised in almost all kinds of environmental conditions. Many of these species are raised in many parts of the world. Lastly, poultry animals can be raised easily. Management requirements are not so complicated. Now let's talk about how to choose the species to raise. So the choice or to choose the species to raise depends on the purpose for raising them. So all 11 poultry species produce meat and eggs, but some of them are raised for other purposes. The various uses of poultry species are presented here. So we have the common name for chicken, the uses of chicken. Uh, we use meat, eggs, game animals, ornaments, medicine, ducks, meat, eggs, ornaments, feathers for thermal clothing and stuffing pillows, feathers to make shuttlecock for badminton, and controlling golden snails in rice fields. Turkey, meat, eggs, quail, meat, eggs for laboratory animal, pigeon, meat from young pigeons called squabs, pets, game animals, messenger, goose, meat, house guard, ornaments, weeder, controlling garden pest. Guinea fowl, meat, eggs, ostrich, meat, eggs, skin, good for leather materials in making bags and belts. Peasant, meat, eggs, swan, meat, eggs, ornaments, and last, pea fowl for meat, eggs, ornaments. For the lesson number two, which is requirements for having a successful poultry raising, um, normally, uh, when it comes to technical know-hows, um, success in uh, poultry raising depends largely on the racer's technical know-how and keen interest in the business. Animals that are managed well will perform well. So raising animals by uh, trial and error may be very costly. Gaining all the necessary information about the business is essential before engaging in poultry raising. So the poultry racer should have um, obtaining a college degree with specialization in poultry production, enrolling in short courses on poultry production, attending trainings on both the theoretical and practical aspects of poultry production, attending an on-the-job training on poultry farm, hatchery, and feed meal, attending seminars and lecture demonstrations on uh, poultry productions, um, uh, listening to radio programs and watching TV shows on poultry production, and of course, reading some magazines, pamphlets, leaflets, books, journals, and other printed materials about poultry production. For good farm location, whatever poultry species you want to raise, you need to consider the following um, farm features, especially in commercial operations. So we have the slightly rolling topography for good airflow, distance from residential areas and business establishments, distance, distance rather from other poultry farms, accessibility to marketplace, reliable power and water supply, absence of peace and order problems, frequency of typhoons and other weather disturbances. For good quality, quality stocks and feeds, there should be a assured supply of good quality stocks. Only good quality stocks have the potential to show uh, good performance. No amount of good management will compensate for poor quality stocks. So stocks should be bought only from reliable breeder farms, which um, the hatcheries or from suppliers getting their stocks from reliable sources. So good quality feeds are also very important in poultry production. So good quality feeds contains essential nutrients needed in the efficient production of meat and eggs. Stocks given poor quality feeds only 
often suffer from um, nutrient deficiencies and do not perform well. High quality feeds commands higher prices than poor quality feeds. So some mixed feeds are sold at relatively lower prices. What is very important is that to make sure that the quality of feeds is not sacrificed um, because of the cost consideration. So feeds must be bought only from reliable feed mills or feed dealers. How about um, market assurance? So when you say market assurance, uh, chicken and egg production is the most progressive animal enterprise in the Philippines today. Uh, there is a constant demand for eggs and uh, poultry meat, making poultry raising a very viable enterprise. The culmination of any poultry raising project is the selling of the product. So the market of eggs involve um, buying and selling and the physical movement and distribution of eggs from production to consumption. Not all eggs produced um, though are marketed for human consumption. So many are used for hatching. Eggs, whether for hatching or for consumption, begin to deteriorate inequality after three days under room temperature. So however, if eggs are stored under cooler con conditions um, with a relative humidity, so their freshness can be extended up to two weeks. So stale eggs command lower prices in market compared to fresh eggs. So eggs deteriorate because of several factors such as the shrinkage, which is caused by the evaporation of moisture within the egg and liquefaction, which increased by visibility of yolk resulting in lowered viscosity of the white. And we also have the gaseous exchange, which is um, due to a loss of carbon dioxide, then hydrogen ion concentration due to change in uh, pH and bacterial decomposition due to caused by shell soilage yeah. So poultry meat production has become by far the largest uh, facet of the poultry industry. 40 years ago, most of the poultry market as uh, meat was only a byproduct of egg production. And today, the poultry marketed as meat is grown by large sophisticated industries. So broilers and chickens raised primarily for their meat are marketed uh, either uh, through contract growers or independent growers. So broilers have to be harvested be before they are 45 days old. In um, most cases, high quality broilers and finished broilers are sold at the optional age of not more than 42 days with the chicken having attained a body weight of 1.75 kilogram. Uh, which is the selling broilers within this period is very important because the weight and the age are at the optimum level. So delay in marketing will result in um, decreasing feed efficiency. So this is uh, due to feed requirement per weight gained. So which in turn would result in higher cost of production and reduced profit. So the older the broiler, the more feed per unit weight gain is consumed. So overgrown broilers are sold at a lower price because they have lower meat quality. So their meat become tough uh, with age. Furthermore, delay in marketing disrupts the schedule of the raising the next crop. So that's the topic for today. Disclaimer. This video blog, I agree by Sir Dan, is an educational blog. So the purpose of this blog is to provide free education to discuss lessons and uh, clarify issues related to agriculture. So the channel owner wishes to thank the trustworthy uh, sources that have helped make this edu blog possible. So any opinions or views shared in this blog are also personal and belong to I agree by Sir Dan. The views of any person that is directly or indirectly connected to the owner do not inherently represent them. In addition, any dependency you put on the materials included herein is solely at your own risk. Finally, if you need more details or have questions, please feel free to contact the owner. Thank you.